Alrighty, so we had an amazing suggestion from someone called Jake Brick in our comment section of our previous video. So thank you for the amazing video idea. I can't believe I didn't think about this myself. So again, huge thank you for the idea. Um, with that being said, is Canada's Wonderland worth the visit in 2021? I'm going to go over my personal opinions. And for those of you that are already subscribed to this channel, you're probably already like, we already know your opinions. I totally get that. I'm going to go over everything. I'm going to give a few suggestions. And again, my subscribers probably already know these suggestions, but I'm going to go over as much details as possible to let you know, is it worth it? Um, is it worth it for families? Is it worth it for teenagers? Um, I'm going to do my best to describe it. And again, if I miss anything or you have any questions that I didn't answer in this video, please don't hesitate to comment down below um, if there's something you'd like to know, and I will try and respond to it as quickly as possible. With that being said, the first part is the reservation part. It is super simple to get a reservation now. All you got to do is go to canadaswonderland.com slash reservations and click whether you're a ticket holder or a season pass holder, and you can reserve up to 14 people. You're gonna to wanna to do this really far in advance. For example, Splashworks is selling out really quickly, but again, once we enter stage three, it should go up to 50% capacity. And then we're also hearing Ontario may announce within the next three weeks, a return to normalcy. So again, this whole stuff may just be a temporary three week thing. And then like we saw in the States last year, eventually it'll disappear and Canada's Wonderland will return to normal. With that being said, you must wear your masks for the first little bit. Once you get to the park, so you'll get to the park, you'll approach these blue gates um, and they'll ask that you have a reservation and what time it's for. Then you enter and you go to, through the security post. It is so streamlined and so organized. Um, I was actually blown away. No overcrowding. Security is there to help if there's any overcrowding and ensure people are wearing their masks. And once you enter the once you enter the park, um, again, as long as there's not too much overcrowding, you can walk around without your mask on in the midways uh, for if you're comfortable uh, anywhere in the park. Um, with that being said, you are required to wear a mask when you're in any queue line, whether that be a restaurant or ride. Uh, it, while you're riding the rides, excluding the water rides, and if you're in any building, like a merch store. So uh, just remember that, bring a mask, obviously. I don't even think you'll be allowed in the park without it. And uh, yeah, if you're having trouble breathing because of the hot heat, you are allowed to remove it, especially in areas like, for example, here, where there's hardly anyone. You can remove it, as you see with those kids, and just walk around freely. Again, it is an outdoor setting. You are safe. Um, security does not tell anyone to put on masks on the pathways as well. Again, it is just a guideline. Um, with that being said, uh, I recommend, especially for families, to bring empty water bottles into the park. The park does have water bottle fill stations, which is so awesome. Uh, the main one that I saw is attached to the Splashworks building near um, Yukon Striker. That's a really good one. And yeah, that's it. I would definitely recommend bringing an empty water bottle. Uh, the other thing is try and get an early reservation. The park is really dead from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. You can essentially get on anything you want in that time frame, especially if you avoid a Leviathan. Um, and the other part of it is if the park does get busy, it's really busy from 1 to 5 p.m. And because of the heat and the overcrowding, it dies down after 5 p.m. And you can start riding the filler coasters like Flight Deck, Dragonfire, and all that. They have like no lines from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Um, that probably will change when hours change to 10 p.m., but that's just a little tidbit for um, any of you there. I highly recommend the drink plan. I am not working for Canada's Wonderland. I am not being paid by Canada's Wonderland, but the drink plan is $38 after tax, and you get a free drink every 15 minutes. It is worth the money. That's all season as well. So if you're visiting more than once, it's so worth it. We spend about $30 each visit on drinks, especially in this heat. So definitely invest in the drink plan. Um, you can actually add that to your pass just easily on the app or the canadaswonderland.com. Just go to season pass add-ons and add that on there. I would also recommend the dining plan, but you don't have to. Um, with that being said, it's going to be busy. Uh, it definitely does get busy. The queue lines get long. They look longer than they are too. And then due to social distancing on the trains, the trains aren't holding as many people as they're used to. So please arrive with patience. Um, and despite the long lines, it is still worth the wait. If you start to overheat and get a little heat exhausted, Starbucks is a great place to go. So Starbucks on International Street uh, is fully blasting their air conditioning. So it's really nice to just go in there, wait for your drink. Um, and spend about 10 to 15 minutes in there uh, waiting for your drink. So definitely a good way to cool down. 
and uh, hit up some of the smaller rides. If w- some of your favorite rides are busy, hit up some of the smaller rides. There are definitely waves of people, so we would notice there's times of days where Yukon has a small line, where Behemoth has a small line. Um, just go around and browse. Uh, don't commit to a ride if it's like a really long line, because you will be in there for about two hours, because again, Wonderland is doing their best and an amazing job at cleaning the rides every hour and uh, socially distancing on the trains. So it, you are going to wait a while, um, depending on the day. So go with patience, plan, arrive early if you can, stay late, especially go on rain days. Wonderland runs the rides in rain. And uh, yeah, I d- again, I really do think it's worth the visit. There's people, if you're impatient, then you're going to find it terrible. There's if, if you look at reviews online, people are really upset with the wait. I don't understand why they're so upset. If you... <laughs> If you knew anything about business and the restrictions the park is on, you would totally understand that the park is doing its best and there's nothing they can do to speed up these lines. So if you're going to the park, understand the lines are going to be long. If you have the money, definitely get fast lane. Anyone who's getting fast lane, it's pretty much a walk on all day. So if you have the money, invest in it. Um, By the way, I'm not going to say 100% for sure, but the park has told people if you add all season fast lane to your season pass, it is good until next year, Labor Day. So that is a good investment. You're getting fast lane for almost like a year and a half if you add it onto your current season pass. So just a little tidbit for anyone. It's definitely, it's $450 right now and you're getting a year and a half of fast lane. And um, yeah, again, like the best advice I could give someone visiting Canada's Wonderland is to one, if you're like a photographer, bring a camera. Take the day slowly. Don't rush your day. Don't expect to get every ride at Canada's Wonderland done in one day. Go slow. Stop for some drinks. Like they have alcohol, they have pop, they have water. Um, go for a tour. Splashworks is opening very shortly too. So book that splash slash dry park reservation if you can. Just take the day slow. Don't rush your day. Relax. You could really over exhaust yourself in this weather. And with the masks and just like the whole stress of COVID. So just go slowly. Um, I find that most of the people that are having a bad time at Canada's Wonderland are going to are expecting to ride every ride at the park um, and are expecting that lines will be 30 seconds long to get a drink or three minutes to get your food or 20 minutes to get on a ride. And that's simply impossible, even at 25 percent capacity. So go with patience Go with a slow mindset, like take the day, like, you know, minute by minute and just, uh, you know, enjoy the weather, enjoy being outside, go into merch stores. They're all blasting AC as well. Ride some of the rides that, you know, maybe you haven't rode in a couple of years, like Clockworks is a great one. I love Clockworks. It's such an underrated little old flat ride, Um, something I used to enjoy with my father a lot that's no longer with me. So it's just one of those things like, you know, go in with. A different mindset that you would go in when COVID didn't exist. It's an outdoor adventure for you to just go around and explore things that maybe you haven't explored before. Learn to do some photography. I myself am an amateur photographer. I have a great camera and I'm currently learning how to use it better. So, you know, if you have a cell phone, even I started photography with a cell phone, like take some photos, learn something new, go with friends, go with family. You know, having that those people to talk to while you're in the queue line and just remember to be super respectful of all employees at the park, even if you end up being slightly stressed, because, again, COVID is a stressful thing. And uh, no one's more stressed about these restrictions than Canada's Wonderland themselves. So trust me, they ain't sitting there being all happy that they are only at 25 percent capacity and the trains are only 50 percent capacity. Some are even less. So. Again, if you're upset, just understand the park doesn't want this either. This is forced on them in terms to be open. Um, But I definitely think it is. I mean, I've been locked up for so long. We've all been locked up for so long. It is a thousand percent worth the visit. The employees have been absolutely excellent. We treat everyone with um, respect. And, you know, we've defended some employees that are getting mistreated. We are super thankful. We're always thanking everyone that we uh, come into contact with. And we get treated with respect back. So you get what you put out. Uh, That's something you know you learn as you get older. Some, unfortunately, don't. (laughs) The Karens of the world. 
But yeah, going to the park with a great attitude and a great mindset and t- uh, treating the employees with respect, saying thank you, having a quick conversation, you'll have a totally different experience than you typically do at Canada's Wonderland. In my opinion, Canada's Wonderland is its best version of itself right now. And I think that's why I'm really defensive of the park is uh, we've had some really great interactions with employees. The park is beautiful despite only having 30 days to get ready. And it's just, it's really awesome. And I'm super excited for the future. I'm really excited for what Canada's Wonderland's been able to pull off in 30 days. And hopefully this video help con- helps convince anyone that it is worth the visit. Um, I think the biggest thing that I left out is this is the safest activity that I have done throughout COVID. And a lot of people have made fun of me for that, being like, how could you say that a theme park is the safest activity? Um, it really is. It's uh, Most people keep their distance. Leviathan happens to be the one queue line where we unfortunately continuously had problems with social distancing, but I'm double dose vaxxed. I, it didn't stress me out. I trust in science and I feel protected. Um, but for the most part, wherever we went, people were respecting social distancing, masks were being worn, and if they weren't, ride employees would force people to put their masks back on, and it's just a, it's a great park to be in. They're taking it very seriously. They're chemicaling everything. They have someone walking through all the queue lines, wiping down the touch points with a sanitizer cloth and chemical. They're sanitizing the trains every 30 minutes to an hour. They have security going around, making sure people aren't clumping together too much on pathways. And uh, there's water stations set up. It's just, it's honestly, it's it's really great. I, I, I couldn't be more impressed. I know I sound like I work for them right now, but I swear that I stand by this. And if you have a bad experience, it's probably a one-off. You know, people have bad days. Things don't always work. The rides may break down here and there. Again, they just open. People are still training, learning everything. Mistakes happen. And if you watch my video um, from yesterday, the ex- uh, Mistakes Explained video, definitely check that out. I go into detail of what's going on with the rides breaking down. It'll slowly get better as the season progresses. It usually takes about two to three weeks for all these ride hiccups to get sorted out, employees learn to hold the button down for the total duration of the ride dispatching from the station. Um, They know to like do the lift, like it's just a bunch of things, super simple, super safe things. And yeah, I mean like look at this, this is the kids area and it's just, it's super safe. I think people thought that when Wonderland wanted to open last year, that it would be like what you see in your Howling Haunt videos where it's shoulder to shoulder people. This is what Wonderland has been fighting for for the last year and a half uh, to open. And it is just so safe. Compare this to any of the Niagara Falls videos that was open last year. And you're literally going to be like, wow, Wonderland should have been allowed to open last year. It's actually quite a shame when I look back at um, the fact that they didn't open last year. And it was just completely biased, yet Niagara Falls was open. All their attractions were open and people were walking around with no mask shoulder to shoulder. And it was just, you know. Hopefully this video um, helped convince even one person to go to the park that maybe was second guessing it. Um, And uh, if you have any questions that I maybe didn't get to answer, uh, comment down below and I will try and answer them as quickly as possible. I've definitely gotten really good at responding to people like as uh, the day progresses. So yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else um, I can suggest. I guess the, the final thing is don't wait until the very end of the day to get a funnel cake. Those lines no matter COVID or without COVID are always the longest. Um, You will wait like an hour to get a funnel cake. And um, when you're getting food, if you see a long line for food, maybe wait an extra couple 10 minutes before you go order. Like, uh, because you don't want to pile on to an already long line and wait the 30 minutes to get your food and then you're upset. Just understand that, you know, because of COVID, there are definitely staffing uh, issues. Not a lot of people are back to work. And that's why a lot of the restaurants and drink stands are closed. Wonderland's currently hiring. So if you're looking for a job, definitely go to CanadasWonderland.com and look up jobs because they're probably hiring. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you've had an amazing visit if you've already been. And if not, hopefully you plan an amazing visit. Don't worry, capacity numbers will start to increase as we enter stage three and then so on. So keep looking. By the way, I guess I missed this. 
reservations can change daily. So just because you look one day, a reservation isn't available, keep checking. People change their minds or change their reservations and those dates and times can become available. So keep an eye on it, keep checking. Um, things move around, people change their mind, people go do something else or people get sick or you know people don't feel like going. So just keep an eye on reservations. And again, yeah, fourth time I think saying this video. Thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget to comment or like or subscribe if you haven't already. Hopefully I helped any of you. And uh, have a great week, guys. Bye.